Tonight, five deaths in a day, and now COVID's hit the hunter, the beach party that sparked a seven-day lockdown. The founder of Hillsong charged, accused of concealing child sex abuse. Our salute to Hendo, the man who brought the world into our homes. Two gold in 10 minutes, Australia's history-making day at the Tokyo Games. And Eels coach Brad Arthur has a surprising reason for Parramatta's recent form slump. This is Nine News with Peter Overton. Good evening to many victims. Nine News. Television might always be evolving, but the greatest and most important reality program of all is the nightly news. The trailblazer of television news was Brian Henderson, our longtime friend and colleague here at Nine, who has passed away today at the age of 89. In the years before TikTok, Facebook and streaming, there was Hendo. Good evening. Rebel postal workers. Over five decades, Brian Henderson was the reassuring presence in lounge rooms. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Three separate inquiries are underway. They even made a song about it. Brian told me. Brian told me. Always Mr. Believable. I know everything I need to know because Brian told me so. There was Hendo calmly taking us through the Vietnam War. Vietnamese reinforcements are continuing to move north towards the Lang Son area, where a major battle may have already started. The Challenger explosion. It was their worst single tragedy in the brief history of space exploration. My controllers here looking very carefully at the situation. Guiding viewers through the tragedy of 9-11. Thousands believed to be dead as terrorists strike at the heart of the United States. And the triumph of Kathy. Kathy Freeman thanks Australia for helping her make history. Before the news, Hendo hosted Bandstand, Countdown in black and white. He dabbled in air guitar. Had a stab at singing. Now I do not exaggerate. I think your singing is just great. But it was at the news desk where he found his phone. This is News Centre 9. The evening news. 30 minutes then with Hendo at the helm. On the 18th of January at Granville, a crowded express train from the Blue Mountains crashed in the most horrifying of circumstances. Every bulletin another chapter of the Australian story. Australia Day 1988, the celebration of our nation's first 200 years. The studio was where Hendo lived and breathed, where he came to life. And what he was doing was opening a door to the world so reporters could tell their stories. Well, in many ways, so reassuring, you know, to have someone like Hendo at the other end of a live cross. I was in Kuwait City, mayhem had broken out, people were shooting in the air. He and I had just done a live interview. And right at the very end, you know, he paused a little and said, but Robert, you have got somewhere safe to sleep tonight, haven't you? And I think, well, that said everything about Hendo. He really did care. And he was always ready to see the funny side. I got Mark Philippoussis' pronunciation completely backside up. <laughs> I called him Mark Philippoupis. Hendo side me collapsed on the desk. Sometimes all that preparation wasn't enough. We're in the dark, but I'll continue. We'll put another shilling in the meter and then come back. He had an impeccable delivery. And what about that voice? Everything, as far as Hendo was concerned, had to be right at six o'clock. The voice for almost 46 years. Then in 2002, goodbye. I feel I know you after all these years. I know I'll miss you. Miss sitting here Monday to Friday, 6 to 6.30, telling you the news of the day. Hendo settled in retirement with his wife, Marty. They married more than 50 years ago. It was a showbiz wedding. He was also great fun. He loved to drink, loved to laugh, and I think of Brian, it makes me smile, and that is a pretty good memory. There was an encore performance to mark half a century of television in Australia. But soon, the evening news would become part of our lives, the dramas and joys. In 2014, Hendo spoke about his diagnosis of throat cancer. Doctors have been very positive. I think I'm lucky. I really think I'm lucky. And it's an object lesson, really, in uh, checking up and even the smallest thing. 
Two years ago, Hendo's last public appearance at the Kennedy Awards. A gong for a lifetime achievement. I am honoured and I am flattered. After 47 years in a job that I loved doing, which gave me so much, to be acknowledged in this way tops it all off. It's the one thing we always need is humility, warmth, integrity, generosity, and Hendo possessed all of that and more. The way it is this Friday, the 29th of November, this is Brian Henderson, a sad Brian Henderson, saying not good night this time, but goodbye. Mark Burrows, Nine News. And I had morning tea with Brian a few months ago and he told me that his life had been brilliant, so happy. He was content and lucky and that is very special. To Marty, the great love of his life and Nicole and Jody, our viewers and the Nine family are thinking of you tonight and in the weeks and the months ahead. Brian loves sport, so why don't we go to Tokyo? And the skateboarding event... Was